Hello everyone, welcome back to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the spacing requirements of heat detectors as per NFPA 72. This will be our first part in which we are going to basically focus on the common spacing rules for NFPA 72 and steps involved in order to locate the heat detectors in any particular room and the impact of heat detector spacing due to ceiling height and we will conclude this session by considering one small example where we are going to distribute the heat detector spacings for a particular room. So NFPA 72 defines common spacing rules for heat detectors. As you can see on your screen there is a figure. I have extracted NFPA 72 reference based on that I have developed this particular figure. On your right hand side you can see these are the most important nodes to be considered before we distribute the heat detectors in any particular room. So basically heat detectors have a listed spacing which can be denoted by S. NFPA 72 has provided a listed spacing. So SD will be the actual spacing between the heat detectors which can be denoted by SD or we can call this SD as design spacing after all the adjustments have been made. What does it mean? It means there is a listed spacing of S for heat detectors. However, whenever there is a change in the ceiling height, the spacing of the heat detectors varies which can be denoted by SD. We will look into this particular detail in next slide. So SD will become S if no adjustment is required. And uh, the heat detector coverage area radius shall be defined with this formula 0 0.7 multiplied by the spacing, listed spacing or design spacing. If you are considering design spacing, then this R will be 0 0.7 multiplied by SD. And uh, for example, if you have an irregular room or irregular room where we need to install the detector, then we need to check the coverage area with this particular formula. If this detector covers the entire irregular shaped area, then the location is okay. If the coverage requirement is not met with this formula, then the detector spacing has to be adjusted. It is very easy to distribute the heat detectors by using only three steps. So the first step would be to know the listed spacing which will be about 50 feet as per NFPA 72. So if you see here, this will be the listed spacing which can be denoted by S. However, this S will change based on the ceiling height and also if you have any beams or solid joists in any particular room, then also the distance between or the spacing between the heat detectors will vary. So we are going to look about this particular point in our next slide. Now based on our previous slide, we know the listed spacing which will be about 50 feet which comes to about 15.3 meters. Now we need to calculate the actual spacing or the design spacing between the heat detector. So we have a table extracted from NFPA 72. You can see on your left hand side of your screen. This table has been extracted from 2019 edition of the NFPA 72. So here they mentioned like heat detector spacing reduction based on ceiling height. So SD will be calculated based on this particular table. So for example, if your ceiling height is greater than 0 meters and it is about 3 meters height maximum, then we need to multiply 
this listed spacing by 1. So, in this particular case, S will be equal to SD since 50 feet multiplied by 1 will be 50 feet only. But for example, if your ceiling height is more than 3.7 meter and it is up to 4.3 meter maximum, if the ceiling height is in between this range, then we need to multiply by 0 0.84 with this listed spacing. 50 feet multiply by 0 0.84, we are going to get the design spacing between the heat detectors. See, we already discussed SD based on the ceiling height. However, in this particular slide, as we said, if you have solid joists and beams in your particular uh, room or a building, then the SD will also vary. First step as we told listed spacing to be identified which will be about 50 feet. Second one if you have the ceiling height more than 3 meter then we need to calculate SD by using formula S multiply by the multiplication factor which we already discussed in our earlier slide and third point will be if you have solid joists or beams in your particular project again the reduction factor will be applied if you see on your screen there is a figure related to the solid joists and beams and uh, nfpa in this particular references has given how to calculate the distance between the heat detectors if you have solid joists or beams. This particular topic we will cover in our next part. In next slide we are going to look at the activity. See in this particular slide we are going to look at an example of smooth false ceiling and also the ceiling height considered as 3 meters. So there will not be any adjustments required. So the listed spacing we already know from the NFPA 72 which will be about 50 feet and the room dimensions for this particular room will be 150 feet by 100 feet. Here we have mentioned like half SD, 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 half SD and R. Here we have shown X and Y. Based on my earlier explanation, I request all of you to calculate the distance between the or specifically if we say design spacing between the heat detectors and the value of R, the value of X and Y. Once you finish this one, just mention the results in the comment section so that I will look into that and reply to you whether your answers are correct or if you need any explanation related to this particular example. I hope you understand the concept. So in next part, we are going to discuss about the impact of heat detector spacing based on the beams or solid joists construction. So thank you everyone once again. Bye. Thank you once again. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS and make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification to learn more about fire protection design.